Happy August 20th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy used her leaf riding skills to swoop down and land on the moving insect-driven beetle wagons that are carrying off bits of the mushroom town of Longwatch. For some reason, Ivy, the white raven, either refuses or is unable to fly, but she used her leaf riding skills to glide and maneuver, and she landed expertly upon the wagons. And that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The insects steering the beetle shift their attention to attack you as you approach, aiming to thwart your of advance as you strive to reach them and seize control of the reins. I do not see any hidden icons on here. The, uh, we've got three insects we're going to fight, and it looks like normal normal combat. No special... Oh, there is a roll here. A special roll here. If your dexterity roll is less than the rose number, you are restrained and unable to attack this round. I think we know how this works. Okay. Insect one. Enemy one. The insect swiftly fires a barrage of sharp arrows at you. Uh, we need to, in order to not be restrained, we need to roll a 12. A dexterity roll of 12. 8 plus 2 is 10. Um, do we have anything that can help our dexterity? We have a nimble cap and we have disco. We need two more points. Disco, I don't think, can get us there. He only gets us one point if he succeeds. And, right, where's Disco? Here he is. Yeah, he'll give us plus one dexterity. So, let's go ahead and use the Nimble Cap. That's what it's there for. And Ivy gets a plus one to rolls, so the nimble cap will give us a D, we roll a D4 and add it to our dexterity. Um, and Ivy has an ability that gets us a plus one on that roll. So it doesn't really matter, it's called solar infusion. It doesn't really matter what we get here, but we'll roll to be thorough. And, uh, okay, she's not restrained. Now that allows us to attack. We want to hit uh, an armor of 13 or better, 17 plus her attack of 7. We hit this insect easily and oh, that's a really lousy damage roll. <laughs> 3 plus 2 is 5. That's not enough damage. Uh, so now we want to defend against his attack of 18. Wow. Our defense is plus 9, but that's a 9 plus 5 is 14. Jeepers. We have, we have a warding ointment we could use, um, and we have, oh, Ivy has a luminous shield ability. Use one surge, add d4 to a single defense roll. So what do we have? Five, plus our defense of nine is 14. We need four more points. So let's use a new luminous shield. That's four. That's what we needed, right? Five, 14, 18. There we go. We defended, which means we take one point of damage. We are down to 16, and we have used one surge. She has two more surges she can use for a couple of different abilities here. Let's hope we don't need them. All right, enemy two. The insect hurls a javelin in your direction. Our dexterity roll to not be um, restrained. We want a 12 or better. That's 11 plus 2 dexterity is 13. So we're not restrained. Now we want to beat his, uh, its defense of 12. We get a 19. We easily hit. And now damage. <laughs> Hoping for a better roll than 3. We want to do 14 points of damage. 11 plus 2 is 13. Um, if we can do... Uh, one more point of damage, and we have we have quite a few things that can help us with damage, including solar flare, our ability. Uh, we could try 
Vinny or Brindle or Kit, they all help with damage. We also have a consumable Dragon's Fire. Should we use a, yeah, let's save our surges. Let's try, let's try some party members here. This almost never works. So, but we're going to keep trying because they're our friends and they want to help. So we've got Vinny. Oh, Vinny's out of the running, right? Because he's exhausted until we uh, rest again. Brindle can help us potentially and Kit. Kit adds D4 damage. Uh, and Brindle adds plus three. Either one, we just need one point, right? Am I remembering that right? Yeah, one point of damage. So either one, who's the most likely? They're both equally likely. We need a club greater than or equal to six. So we need to pick who, let's see, Kit's already taken a point of damage. Let's try Brindle, the new guy. Here we go, Brindle, a club greater than or equal to six. Nope. And okay, now we'll try Kit. Club greater than or equal to six. Hey, Kit comes through for us. Good job, Kit. We'll roll your die just because you're so cool. There you go. That is the second insect defeated. And that is Brindle and Kit used. So we have no more. Uh, they, can't they can't try to help us again on this page. Enemy three. The insect leaps into the cart to grapple you. All right. The dexterity roll here, saying we want to beat 12, and we do. We are not restrained. We want to beat his defense of 15, and we get it. 15 plus our attack of 7. We easily beat it. This guy has the most health. He's got 16 health. So here we go. 6. <laughs> 6 plus 2 is 8. Can we get 8 more points of damage? On, uh, well, we have a consumable... And we have, um, and we have a couple of solar flares. We may as well you try the solar flares because, uh, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, solar flares because, oh boy, we'd need we'd need both of them to come up four on D four rolls. Um, but there's nothing else we're going to use them on this page. Four, I don't think. How badly do we do we want to defeat this guy? It, it only adds some amber. Um, but we may as well try these. We'll try two solar flares. We need two fours. And uh, we don't get it. What do we get? Six. Two more points. Uh, dragon's fire. In order to make some more amber. I'm not going to do it. Um, let's see. Now he gets to attack us because we didn't kill him. I am going to mark that we used those surges. We are out of surges for this page. This calendar page. That's okay, because this is almost over. Uh, we want to defend against his attack of 16. We get 12 plus 9 defense, so we do. And we take 2 instead of the full 3 points, so we're down to 14. That's getting down there. We might use a healing potion or <clears throat> our healing... Well, we could go ahead and use our healing light right now. Um, do we have healing potions? Healing potions can only be used at the beginning or end of a page. This is the end of the page. Uh, we do have one healing potion. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, should we... Yeah. We have, we're also poisoned. We have to remember to do that roll. Let's do that first. So, uh, And then we'll use the health potion. So poisoned. If we're poisoned, at the end of each page, uh, we roll d20 plus constitution. 11. We want to beat 10. So we got it. So we're still poisoned, but we don't take any damage uh, today. And now let's use that healing potion. Uh, we'll roll a d4. We get three plus one because of uh, Ivy's solar infusion ability. So we add four health back, and we're up to 18. That's one more health than we started today. Uh, we need to roll our amber. And actually, no, we just defeated one guy, so we get one amber. Uh, and I need to mark off this healing potion. We're out of healing potions, but that's okay. We have a healing light ability and a couple of party members who can help us out. And let's see. If you did not kill all the insects, they jump off and abandon the beetle. 
uh, who's driving this wagon. If you killed enemy, if you killed one enemy, that's what we did, you get one amber. So we're up to 17 amber. Combat was our strong suit at one point, but these enemies are getting tougher. So their attack, this guy had an attack of 18. This guy had a defense of 15. Their health is really high, 16 health. Okay, well, in any case, that's that, and that, my friends, is August 20th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>